How's it going guys? Today's video is inspired by Ryan Sheckler. I mean my whole life is sort of inspired, but this is particularly inspired by Ryan Sheckler. So this morning I woke up and I saw his Instagram and he posted this very cool skate clip made by Casey McPerry, a super talented video artist, and I thought I can do that. So I gave it a try, I posted it on Instagram, and a bunch of you guys really liked it and asked me to do a tutorial on it. And my plan today was either to do a tutorial on shooting star photography, astrophotography, or making this. And I figure, you know what, this is gonna be cool, we'll try this, and then shoot stars next week. Even though this looks super, super cool, it's actually not that hard to make. So I'm gonna be walking you through every step of the way, starting with shooting and ending with the editing process. To do this, you're gonna need four things. First, a camera with a decently high frame rate. So an iPhone is totally fine if you shoot in 60 frames per second. A DSLR will also be great. And I'm using a Canon 70D for all these videos. You'll also need a tripod, a video editing software, and I'm just using iMovie today because it's super easy and it'll do the trick. And finally, you're gonna need Photoshop. And if you don't have Photoshop, I'll put a link to get it down below. And if you're not actually comfy with Photoshop, don't even worry about it. I will be walking you through every step of the way. Super easy, no problem. And if you need suggestions on equipment, my website has my entire camera setup reviewed on it, and I'll put a link to that in the description down below. So first, we're gonna talk about shooting the actual skateboarding trick. So it's actually a really simple process, and you might already have videos that'll work for this if you shoot stuff with a tripod. But if you don't, I'll walk you through the steps. Step number one, compose a shot. And you're gonna wanna find a shot where the trick is being done against a clean backdrop. If there's a bunch of crazy stuff happening, it won't look very good and it's gonna be harder to select the board out. So find a smooth backdrop, it could be just a gray wall. It'll make it much easier. Step two, use a tripod because the effect won't look as good if the camera's moving. Step three, make sure you have a high frame rate. So 60 frames per second is gonna be a good move. Whether it's on your iPhone or DSLR, it's just gonna make selecting the frame and doing this whole effect much, much easier. 30 frames per second probably won't cut it. Step four, do the trick or have someone else do the trick for you. And make sure it's a trick where the board is actually detached from your feet at some point. Like an impossible won't look very good because you're gonna have to mess with your feet. So like a tray flip or a hard flip or any trick where the board's flipping around and doing a cool movement and it's away from your feet. And that's pretty much it for shooting. Step number five, just shoot a bunch of these because they're really easy to shoot and why not have a bunch of options to work with. Now if you or your friends don't skate, you could do this with any sort of object. It could be kicking a soccer ball or whatever, or you go to the skate park, find a really talented person there, and show them my video. Say, hey, I'm gonna make this, and they'll probably be down. Anyway, now that the shooting is done, let's talk about editing. For editing, I'm gonna use this old clip I have of a frontside big spin kick clip I did. I'm stoked on the clip, and the board was isolated at one really nice point. So what we're gonna do first is open it up in iMovie, or whatever video software you're gonna use. So now we're gonna select the point at which we want the board to float. So you're gonna scrub through every single frame of the clip, and pick the best point at which the board is isolated from your feet, it's got the smooth background, it's sharp. Once you have your frame selected, you're gonna split the clip right there. Now you're gonna take a screen grab of the entire frame and try to be pretty precise with it because it's gonna make editing a little bit easier. Once you have that screenshot, you're just gonna dump it into Photoshop. The objective here, and it's super simple, we just need to select the skateboard and only the skateboard, get rid of everything else in this frame. So what we're gonna do now is first select the lasso tool and the keyboard shortcut is L, I believe. So hit L on your keyboard and then select a nice little rectangle around the skateboard. So now to get rid of everything that's not in that rectangle, you're gonna hit select and then inverse, or you can just do Command Shift I, and it should select everything that's not in that rectangle. Just hit the backspace to delete that, and now we only have the rectangle. So now we're gonna use just an eraser tool to get rid of everything in that rectangle that's not the skateboard. Now, some people like to use the magic wand for this sort of thing, but I find that it's better to be super precise and have full control over it than trying to mess with the magic wand here, especially because it's hard to select when it's just a screen grab. Zoom in on your skateboard now just to make it easier to work with, and hit E on your keyboard or just select the eraser. And now we're gonna start to work our way around the skateboard. And what I recommend is using a brush with a hardness of about 75, 80%. It's not too hard, but it'll get you nice, good edges. Um, and start with a size of about 15, work your way around just the rough part, and slowly get smaller and smaller as you're working your way around the very edge of the skateboard. So keep doing that until you only have the skateboard. You'll notice the brush gets smaller and smaller as I get closer around the edges. Once you're about done, just zoom out and double check to see how it's gonna look. And remember, you don't have to be crazy, crazy precise because you are zoomed out. It's only gonna be one small skateboard in a much bigger frame. And you're probably just gonna throw this on Instagram. So it's not a huge deal if it's not perfect, as long as it's close to perfect. And if you like how it looks, you're gonna save it as a PNG. So to do that, you're just gonna hit File, save as, and then just PNG and name it whatever. 
At this point, you're gonna open up your video editing software again. I've got iMovie. We're gonna dump in this PNG file and overlay it over the first half of the video right up until that split and make sure it's picture in picture for iMovie um, and filling up the entire screen. Now, if you took a really good screenshot that perfectly selected the screen or close to perfect, then it should be good to go and really fit perfectly with the skateboard clip already and pretty much be done. You might have to tweak it just a little bit, make it bigger, smaller, whatever. To make sure they're perfect, go to the frame that you originally took the screenshot of and make sure it's a perfect overlay. So you can't actually see that you have a PNG overlay. It just looks like it's one skateboard right there. And if it does, then you're good to go. Just make sure that PNG overlay ends right at the place where you split the clip and it'll look really good. Then you have this finished product right here. iMovie does by default like to have the PNG overlays fade in and fade out. Make sure there's no fade in because it's gonna have to disappear and appear really fast. Now, I would like to have the skateboard start from the very, very beginning of the clip because it'd look weird if it just popped up randomly. So have it start from the very beginning and right at the frame where you split the clip and that's it. You now have a beautiful kind of trippy lost skateboard effect. Something else I should say is you can also do this by selecting the entire person's body and the skateboard in a frame, but the reason why I wanted to do just skateboards is because it's much easier, it's much cleaner to do, and I just wanted to start off with that. If this works really well, I'd love to see you guys try to experiment with entire body frames, and I might do one too for this video just to see how it looks. Anyway, make the final cuts you want to do to finalize the clips, and a little exporting trick for iMovie, what I like to do is first 1080p, 60 frames per second, whatever your camera's max quality is, and then to save a lot of space and still have it be high quality, make the quality custom, and then bring the bar all the way up. It's going to look really good, and it's not going to be a ginormous file. That's how I do all my YouTube videos, and I think it looks pretty decent. So last step, you're going to post them on Instagram, and a lot of people have asked me how I actually send them to my phone, and I always use AirDrop to make sure there's no quality diminishing. And finally, use the hashtag JoshCatsPhotos and tag me at JoshCats so I can see all your amazing work, because I'm sure you guys are going to come up with some super cool creative stuff and I'm amped to see all of that and I'm going to be sharing my favorite ones that you guys made at the end of my next photo video tutorial which should be coming out next week it's probably going to be one on star photography so definitely keep an eye out for that and be sure to subscribe for more videos and all this crazy stuff that is my life and lastly if you want to see all of my photo tutorials I have them all up on my website where I also have prints of my best shots up for sale as well as my entire camera setup with reviews and recommendations. So definitely check that out. Link over here if you want to see my website. And if you want to see my Instagram too, I'll also put a link over here and down below. I'll also put a link to Casey McPerry's Instagram down below because he was the whole inspiration for all of this. Huge thank you to Casey. Finally, guys, that is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you eventually. Good luck with these. I am super stoked to see what you guys make.